you have that breeze blowing in your face. Hi guys, my name is Ashley Noel, and this is Anne Original. Today I'm going to be sharing my best style steals for dressing for convertible weather. Now you're probably wondering what is convertible weather. But if you live in Southern California, chances are you're about to start staring off into the distance, nodding and smiling ever so slightly. Because you know exactly what convertible weather is. Convertible weather is when it changes from cold to hot to cold very rapidly, all within a span of 24 hours. I just made this term up because we experience this a lot. It takes after a convertible car because you see in the winter, you just keep the top on, you turn on the heat, and you're very comfortable. But in the summer, you can simply take the top off and you're very comfortable. A convertible car is the all season car, minus maybe the snow or sweltering, sweltering heat. But you get the point. The key to surviving convertible weather is to be like a convertible. But don't just go around taking your top off. Especially not in public. I mean, you could. But you shouldn't. You, you definitely shouldn't. Probably not. But anyways, here are my top four style steals for dressing for convertible weather. Number one, long sleeves are your best friend. Because they keep your arms entirely warm and your arms and your legs are the two most important parts to keep warm Because those are ultimately going to determine how warm the rest of you is So by wearing long sleeve you're already ensuring that you are ready to brave that cold cold winter morning However, when you get to the afternoon and you start rolling up those sleeves or simply sliding them up Your arms are free to breathe because while the tops will be three-quartered and therefore a little warm The bottom which is a very important part because it includes the elbow is going to be perfectly at ease. In addition, one of my favorite components of every outfit is a neck scarf. I'll probably do a whole episode just about those later. See, neck scarves are great because in the winter, morning, late night time, they keep your neck warm. Not overly heated, just comfortably warm. But the moment it starts getting too hot, all you have to do is remove it, throw it up into your hair, make it a cute hair bow, and suddenly your neck and your face are going to be incredibly cool because your hair is out of the way of both. I love a good neck scarf because they don't just have to be a neck scarf, they can also be a beautiful hairband. Number two, try summer layers. Now, for example, we have a long sleeve and a crop top. Separately, they're very different seasons, but when you put them together, they are the perfect mix for convertible weather. Because you see, that crop top is going to provide this tiny layer of extra warmth, which is going to really help you get through those bitter cold mornings. But the moment it starts becoming warmer and warmer until it's unbearably hot, it's not going to be so warm that you can't survive with it. So, it's perfect. And of course, once it does get hot, we follow the rule of long sleeves and we simply slide them up or roll them up and our arms are back to being perfectly happy. Now, the great thing about using a turtleneck, as in this example, is that you can keep the turtleneck all the way up as it was originally intended for, but the moment it starts getting too heated, you simply roll it down and once again, your neck can breathe. Now as you can see in this outfit, I paired it with tights and a skirt. This was one of my favorite pairings for convertible weather because they go so well for keeping you warm but not overly heated. Tights are great because as long as you don't choose ones that are too sparing or too thick, they're going to keep your legs insulated and warm, but not super warm but not super cold. So pretty much it's a happy medium. As long as you can keep your head held high and your thoughts of coldness suppressed, then you are going to be just fine. I like tights because with just a little bit of rubbing together, friction, you'll be nice and heated. Now a skirt of course goes great over this, you could also do it with shorts or any other sort of summer item that once again creates this perfect pairing for convertible weather. Number three, thin jackets. Thin jackets are the best because yes, it's very cold in the morning, you're going to want to wear that very thick hoodie or that very bulky jacket and yes, it might even be cute, but don't do it because later in the day, it's going to come off. And you're not going to know what to do because you either drape it over the arm or you sort of tie it around your waist or something like that. No, the best thing is to wear a light jacket. Now, light jackets are great. You can even pair them with a long sleeve and it comes off. You roll up the sleeves and you're double great. But light jackets are great because they're going to keep you warm just like tights do. A little bit of friction and you're great. But the moment that it starts getting hot, you can simply take it off and put it in any sizable bag. Because it's so small, it's gonna roll up into almost nothing. But when you put it on, it's going to be that extra layer of protection that you're going to be so glad that you had. And of course, 
they can be super cute. Now in this example, as you can see, we not only paired it with the light jacket, but we also added a button-down shirt. Button-down shirts, if you couldn't tell, are some of my favorite. Because they're also great because you can button it all the way to the top, keep your neck warm, but start unbuttoning it once it gets a little too hot. But as we said before, keep your top on. Number four, accessories. The most important and most simple way to dress for convertible weather. Gloves, scarves, socks. The holy trinity of convertible weather accessories. Gloves, you put them on, you take them off. They go on just like that. It depends on how hot and your fingers and your hands are going to be very warm. And if you're someone like me, then oddly enough, your hands and your feet get really cold for no reason. Gloves are amazing because when they get really, really cold, they're gonna be nice and warm. And once it gets too hot, you can take them off and pretend like it's not even a worry. Just like life jackets, they tuck into almost any sizable bag super easy and don't even have to be worried about until it goes back to being cold again. Scarves. Scarves are great because they can be worn in a million different ways, first of all. And also, they can be used to keep your neck warm or your hair up. Depends on the size of the scarf. And once again, they can be tucked away super easily. Now, socks. Socks are a bit tricky because you can't just Take them off in public when you're wearing shoes and whatnot. Don't make a show of it. But it's very easy to simply take off your shoe, slip it off, put it in a bag, and suddenly, ta-da, your legs are nice and ready for that hot weather. I love pairing socks with a pair of tights because it's like a double layer of insulation, which is going to make you warmer than even a pair of jeans could, which is personally my favorite. And there you have it. Those are my best four style steals for dressing for convertible weather. If you choose to take any of these tips and apply them to your personal wardrobe, then be sure to post a picture and tag at an original in it so I can go and see and let you know just how much I love it. Now, my name is Ashley Noel. This is an original. And be sure to like and subscribe below if you want to see more future content reminding you of just how fabulous, flawless, and truly stylish you are.